Hey, it's Bill Russell. I'm here in my yellow hat. I wore it at Vive and Hims to signify our partnership with Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation and the search for cures and to combat childhood cancer. I'm just blown away by the generosity of our community. With the help of our partners, SureTest, Rackspace, CTG, and some of you giving individually, we were able to raise close to $40,000 at those two events. It is just exceptional. And I would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this cause. If you would like to be a part of it as well, go ahead and hit our page, thisweekhealth.com. You can go to the top blue banner that is on our homepage and click on that to give today. Thank you again for being a part of this effort and this cause. Today in Health IT, it's February 29th, 2024, which means it's Leap Day, which means it's the four-year anniversary of the genesis for the 229 Project. That's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Bill Russell. I'm a former CIO for a 16 hospital system and creator of This Week Health, a set of channels and events dedicated to transform healthcare, one connection at a time. We want to thank our show sponsors who are investing in developing the next generation of health leaders, SureTest, Artisite, Enterprise Health, Parlance, Certify Health, Notable, and ServiceNow. Check them out at thisweekhealth.com slash today. All right. Uh, as you guys know, we had a great vibe. We raised uh, an, an additional $10,000 for Alex's Lemonade Stand. If you want to be a part of that, we actually have a new page, thisweekhealth.com slash Alex. Check that out today. We'd love to have you be a part of that. And thank you for everybody who participated at the Vibe event. One last thing. Share this podcast with a friend or colleague. Use it as a foundation for daily or weekly discussions on the topics that are relevant to you and the industry. We want you to mentor people. If you don't know how, go back. About two weeks ago, I did a whole show on mentoring. It's a simple, great framework, and you could use this show as part of the foundation. Agree with me, disagree with me. The conversation is where the mentoring happens. They can subscribe wherever you listen to the podcast. All right, let's get to it. They're tearing up my studio today due to the water leak that uh, created a tiny flood. So we're going to be in this makeshift studio for a few weeks. I'll tweak the sound a little now that I have time after getting back. Very late last night from Vive 2024. I didn't get to get into bed until about 2.30. So it's 10 o'clock on Thursday that I'm recording this. This is usually recorded the night before or the early morning, but I did not uh, roll out of bed due to the uh, late start. I'm going to leave this up. This will be the Thursday, Friday episode. I'm going to take a day off. And today we're going to talk about 229. Today is February 29th, 2024. As I said earlier, the four-year anniversary of the start of the 229 project. As you may or may not know, on 229 of 2020, February 29th, 2020, Leap Day, the CDC confirmed the first COVID death in the state of Washington. Through the uh, fog of war that date stood for a long time and you can still find the release on the cdc website history has moved that date earlier that is where we took our name 229 project from february 29th 2020 leap day i'm going to come back to that day in a minute but first i want to tell you about my journey as a healthcare cio the healthcare cio role was one of the most rewarding but challenging roles i've ever had it was challenging professionally for me, but also challenging personally, and it took a toll on me and my family. If you come to a meeting, I go into more detail on that story, but suffice it to say, for this forum, there are many ways I did not handle that stress and challenge. In fact, when I meet partners that I worked with during that time, they say, oh, I worked with you at St. Joe's, I will say, I am sorry. I know that there was many days that I was stressed, I was short, and I raised my voice a little too many times. I did. I really did not handle it. I was working way too many hours, putting on weight, and it was just not great. And actually, there's more detail to it. I'm not going to give that to you in this forum, but we can we can talk. If you ever come to a meeting, 229 Project uh, meeting of some kind, I'll go into a little bit more detail. Everything we do at This Week Health is shaped by that experience and our desire to help and support healthcare leaders. As I said earlier, the second catalyst for this event was the pandemic. The pandemic was a seismic event in healthcare, and I will often say that we will mark time as before pandemic BP and after pandemic AP in our industry. Around that time, I started to get phone calls, texts, emails with similar questions. What are other health systems doing? And so I wanted to support the community that had formed around This Week Health 
So we, we launched a daily podcast to interview a bunch of leaders in the industry to capture what health systems were doing and share it with the broader community. I also recognized that some healthcare leaders did not have an extensive set of relationships at a time when we needed them most. There were organizations with health IT leaders that had come together and some functioned extremely well. And I, I applaud those groups, but many of them aren't open to everyone. And many health IT leaders are not connecting through the groups that are available. For me, that started uh, conversations with some of you who are listening to this. It, it really started, the first call I had was with Drex DeFord, and I'm so glad that he has joined us at This Week Health because he was there at the beginning. Drex and I got on the phone and started talking about how we could support CIOs. There was, was others that I will mention by name. Frank Knightum has been instrumental in uh, the progress of This Week Health and the 229 Project, Sarah Richardson, David Benzema, Dr. Milligan, Lee Milligan, and many of you continued the conversation with me. The thing I was trying to figure out was what was working and what wasn't. And we determined that there was room on the calendar for a gathering that was designed to foster connections and renew the spirit of the healthcare leader. Remember, I, I was the poster child for burnout in this role. We wanted to create a meeting that would benefit the leader personally and professionally with relationships that would last their entire career and hopefully beyond that. We designed our gatherings to be small, where leaders would have an opportunity to interact with each other, where we could engage in discussions and everyone could have an opportunity to share and learn. We kept them small so that we could facilitate honest discussions. We have no formal presentations, nothing against the traditional conference format, but we believe inspiration happens in rows, but transformation happens in circles when we are facing each other, when we are talking to each other face to face. I heard this a long time ago and found it to be extremely true. I, I learned a lot at conferences and in many cases I walk away inspired, but there is something different about sitting down with a small group of peers and really hammering on the challenges we face from various points of view that I've found to be transformative. The purpose of our meetings is connection and renewal. The purpose of the 229 project is to elevate the industry through connection and collaboration. It is my privilege to host these events and moderate the discussions. I'm never surprised by the great work that is being done in healthcare by such creative and, and awesome people. People think This Week Health is a media company and we produce a lot of content. That is true. We don't see ourselves as that. We are a relationship company. We changed our mission at This Week Health from amplify great thinking to propel healthcare forward, which is what it was for the better part of five years to transform healthcare one connection at a time. We do still strive to amplify the best thinking in healthcare, but we recognize that transformation happens in a relationship and we believe that is much more important as an objective. We continue to maintain a startup mentality. After all, we are 10 staff and hundreds of members of the 229 Project. We call people members who, who come to our events, even though there is no membership per se. Actually, if I thought about it, all healthcare leaders are a part of the 229 Project. There are just some that haven't had the opportunity to come to one of our hosted events. We have annual goals as a leadership team at This Week Health. One of our goals is that 500 people would experience the 229 Project in 2024. This represents a 5X increase from 2023. To some of you, this might sound like a lot. To others, this might sound like, hey, it's pretty small. But we want to create special experiences of renewal and connection. We haven't figured out how to do that in a, an extremely large setting yet, but we are absolutely talking about it. Don't worry, we're never going to compromise our mission as we explore these new offerings. We're, we are launching 229 city tours to bring the action to your city. We're talking about expanding our summits uh, to more titles and roles. Lots of opportunities for people to be involved. I tell people, welcome to the experiment. We likely will not get everything right. Towards that end, we will keep listening and adjusting with each conversation. We're getting smarter and you're helping us to get smarter. And that's the nature of an experiment. People keep asking me, how can I get invited? How do I be a part of this? And for healthcare leaders, if you'd like to know more, just connect with me or Drex. My email is bill at thisweekhealth.com. Drex is drex at thisweekhealth.com. You can, Drex actually has his own page. We're going to get 229 Project its own page. 
But uh, Drex's uh, 229 project for CISOs in the sec security community is thisweekhealth.com slash security. You can check that out or have your CISO or, or other privacy compliance people check that out. If you have ideas and thoughts on what we are doing, we would love to have your feedback. As sponsor partners, we, we believe that the community of problem solvers extends to our sponsor partners. Each of our events has a few partners, executives, who are part of the discussion. If you want more information, same thing, partner at thisweekhealth.com. You send an email there. You, you can, uh, there's so many ways. You can hit our website, thisweekhealth.com slash partner and uh, fill out the uh, form there. And for those of you who are saying, hey, this is really cool. I want to be a part of standing up a meeting or standing up a group in a city or those kind of things. We are looking for co-creators. And for those of you who want to be a part of helping us build this out, we have advisors, we have uh, chairs, we have co-chairs for our events, we have hosts. These are just some of the roles that people dreamed up. We have community builders. There's actually a new role called community builders. These are just some of the roles that people have dreamed up to be a part of this. And we are absolutely ecstatic that people would want to be a part of helping to build this out with us. And I'm sure there's other ideas we haven't even considered. And we welcome you in as co-creators. Like, what you think of and say, hey, Bill, you should be thinking about this. I had a bunch of great conversations with people at the Vive event around what we're doing next and what we could do. And I love those conversations. Grab me and talk to me about it. Shoot me an email, uh, direct message me in LinkedIn as well. All right. That's all for today. 229, 2024, four year anniversary of the 229 project. Don't forget, share this podcast with a friend or a colleague. I'm going to keep pushing you guys on mentoring. Everybody can mentor someone. We want to thank our channel sponsors who are investing in our mission to develop the next generation of health leaders. SureTest, Artisite, Enterprise Health, Parlance, Certify Health, Notable, and ServiceNow. Check them out at thisweekhealth.com slash today. Thanks for listening. That's all for now.